can see it's very rainy today. It wasn't like this earlier. It just kind of started. Basically, I'm walking back home right now. I was trying to see if my wife, uh, if she's out of work or done with work, so I can just wait for her and we can just go back together. But I don't think it's going to happen, so um, I'm just going to head back home and see what, what we got to do from there. We'll see what happens after that. Sound good? Cool. So walking in that cold rain didn't do any favors for my developing sickness. I woke up this morning and my throat was feeling kind of kind of itchy, kind of like that feeling you get when like, I don't know, like when you breathe you can feel like a painful kind of sore spot in your throat. It's not itchy or anything, it's just like a pain. And I felt that. That's why I really woke up. Slowly getting that sensation and did not feel good. I was like, oh no, I don't want to get sick. I think, I think what happened is that since we were outside yesterday on the roof of Jeremy's building, we were just in that constant wind up there. And I wasn't wearing too much and it got kind of chilly up there. I think maybe I just you know, made myself available to some opportunistic viruses, and this is what I'm dealing with right now. So, gotta take some vitamins, some vitamins, eat some dinner, some food, and, I don't know, stay warm. <laughs> it's like 30-something degrees outside from like a 60-degree, you know, difference, no, 30 something degree difference from yesterday at like 60 degrees, much, much different. I prefer the 60 to the 30, but oh well, whatever, if this is the coldest it's going to get in February, the end of February now, I'm fine with that, no problem with me. I'm playing this, uh, this open beta for, um, this game, Tom Clancy's there's a volume. Tom Clancy's um, um, Ghost Recon Wildlands takes place in Bolivia, but as somebody who is fluent in Spanish and has heard so many different accents, pretty much everybody in the game, radio characters that are Bolivian and take place in Bolivia, they all have a Mexican accent. Most likely, they got Mexican actors to do these parts. Of Bolivians thinking we wouldn't notice but we did notice Ubisoft we did notice we didn't find Bolivian actors Bolivian people even people that are just voice actors or in theater that wanted to do the voices could have made this game so much better not that it's bad it's not like amazing it's just kind of like oh, that's cool but that's my review of the game that's that's points off right there it's almost like not doing enough research and making the flag like a different color or something like that. It's like, okay, you could have just spent five minutes researching. Or you could have just gotten actors from Bolivia. What? Actors from Bolivia to actually play the part and do their do the voices for the people of their country. I mean, that's not that hard, is it? If it is, I want to hear a reply. Ubisoft. <laughs> So here I got some, uh, uh, I think it's Korean barbecue at the protein bar. Let's check it out. It's like, uh, what is it, rice or like? Korean bibimbap. Bibimbap? 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 It looks good though. I want you to get you sick. Do you have another? <laughs> I said hero, and then she accidentally put an M. Hero. Oh, so close enough. Hero. <laughs> I said hero. Ah, maybe hero. <laughs> oh. Okay. The mom's sick, though, girl. So, you should.